We've seen a lot of solo traveling vlogs which work very well, but then talking to a camera the entire trip looks very lonely in my mind. I mean, it just takes a lot of fun out of the vacation. But what if you don't have to talk about the place you're in, and what if you bring your family aboard for the trip? This is exactly what the Ingham family of five did, and they've been very successful with this approach. In this episode, we're going to talk about this amazing family who has managed to make their travel vlogs and also a family vlog. But before we begin, please support us by hitting that subscribe button and slapping that notification bell, and let's begin with the video. Chris and Sarah together with their kids Isabel who's 16 years old, Esme who's 13 years old, Jace who's 3 years old, and Mila who is about a year old, make up the Inghams. Their family is completed with an adorable pooch on pup called Brittany, they live in Kent, England, and they're some of the most entertaining family vlogs out there. But how do travel vloggers take care of their kids? Well, they bring them along, and well, these days most of it is solved by online classes and their homeschooled giving them a lot of time to travel. I wish my parents were that cool. Ugh, anyway. The Incomes joined YouTube back in 2011 but only made their first upload about 7 years ago in 2015 with their first video about Sarah's birthday, which they celebrated in London. That marked the beginning of a great journey, but before that, Chris worked at an airport and he dreamt of becoming a pilot. Sarah too talks about how if it wasn't for YouTube, she would still be doing something that was related to travel like maybe a travel agent. Fun fact, Chris also has a brother called Dave and he's a guitarist and he sings in a rock band. He has also written and produced his music and Sarah gave birth to Isabel when she was just 19 years old. Chris is not her biological father but Chris never lets her feel that way. They were avid travelers making international trips until they decided to convert a Mercedes Sprinter van in 2021 after a travel plan. They were pretty adamant about the direction they were steering their life to with Chris working overnight editing videos and their vlogs were very modest, wholesome, and humble and those were the times when they could not travel. The pandemic days and sadly, Sarah's mom passed away and around those times they started vlogging and in a video they created a script or a narrative which was about a tribute to her mom where her mom named her unborn child before her death and that went viral on the internet. Their values are built on family and what better family time than Christmas. The family gives it all just to see their kids happy and it's beautiful how they jump around and enjoy. The Ingums are some of the most wholesome channels out there. Their Christmas vlog is the most viewed video on their channel with more than 65 million views. Talking about views, the Ingums have a massive online community reflected on their channel with a subscriber count that has crossed the million mark and they already have more than 2000 videos on their channel. Apart from that, Chris also has a different channel where he makes videos on inland skating and you can see him skating over on his other channel, Chris Ingham. There have been some stains on Chris's part like him being a pedophile which led to the Ingams getting dropped by the talent media company Viral Talent. I just see the Ingham family as a great family vlog and I would not want to go down that rabbit hole. For me, I love their vlogs and I'll watch them any day. The channel is both a vlog and a family video diary. The Ingham's get about 75,000 views a day which means that they can easily make about $300 which could easily go up to about $2100 a week, making their monthly earnings somewhere about 10 grand. So, what do you think about the Ingham family? Let our viewers know in the comments section below. If you liked our video, show us by liking it and don't forget to subscribe. It might not be much for you, but it shows that we're doing something right. Take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.